when I was little. I'm here to tell you, Flat Earthers. My the solar eclipse famous. proves that the Flat Earth he model the greatest samurai is bullshit. In the he cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. Hey everybody, in my last video I showed through a scaled representation that the direction of the solar eclipse is wholly consistent with the heliocentric model of the solar system, contrary to what some flat earthers have tried to claim. An honest flat earther may concede that to be true, but they would still claim that the flat earth model explains it just as well. They would be wrong. Because the solar eclipse proves the flat earth model is bullshit, pure and simple. Now as much as I enjoy the shooting down the poor scientific thinking of flat earthers, what I enjoy more is when their own attempts at proofs reveal their own nonsense. Such is the case with D. Marble. In his video, The Globe is Done on August 21st, D. Marble gives a demonstration of how the eclipse works over a flat earth model. And even though he mentions using data in the video, Given that data, let me show you how this works. He doesn't provide any actual data. Saying the Earth and Moon are not large and far, but small and local does not count as data. And why not give any data? The first reason is he doesn't have any. All this shit is just made up. But the second reason is if Flat Earthers give actual data, the math will kick their ass. So stay away from real data. His demo was meant to show that the shadow of the eclipse moves from west to east in the Flat Earth model, and it demonstrates that point fairly successfully. But his demo also points out a glaring difference between what we see in the real world and the flat earth model. Now before I point out that in his video, it's actually embarrassingly obvious. Let me recap how eclipses work. These images of course are not to scale, but are to demonstrate a concept. We have a green earth surface and above it you have a moon and a sun. The flat earth model has the sun and the moon close together near the earth about the same size, so that's what I have here. When the moon is between a viewer on the earth and the sun, the sun is blocked or eclipsed. People in the darkest shadow area will not see the sun, a total eclipse. People in these red shadow areas will see a partial eclipse and those outside of these areas will see the full sun. As the sun and moon move in the flat earth model, the sun moves faster than the moon, the area of the moon's shadow changes. Note that not only does the location of the shadow change, but the size of the shadow changes. Here the shadow is this size. Now it is this size. Look at how much bigger the shadow field gets when the sun and moon move apart. That's dramatic. Let's see how that works when the sun and moon get farther away and the difference between the size and distance of them increases. If the moon is far and the sun is much farther and much bigger, the differences between the size of the shadow at each point is less dramatic. This size and this size, this to this. Now back to a sun and moon that are small and local. Big size changes in the shadow area, and that's what we see in Daryl's demonstration. The shadow here is really big, then it's quite small, then it's huge again. He does it a few times, really big shadow, small shadow, really big shadow, small, big. But what does the real world show? Well, looking at the data and the images from past eclipses, in the real world, the shadow seems fairly consistent in size. And as this diagram shows, the farther away the sun and moon get, and the greater the difference between the size and distance of the sun and moon, the more consistent the size of the shadow becomes. Just like the real world. If folks like Daryl want to claim that the eclipse proves a flat Earth, they need to explain why the eclipse doesn't start off huge, get small, and then get huge again. Maybe they can come up with some magical new property of light that happens only during eclipses, but until then, the evidence shows that the solar eclipse proves that the flat earth model is bullshit. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by and congratulate me last night's victory.